My name is Tom Hunt, and I am the event director of the NEAT Fair, an electric model aircraft meet held every year in mid-September in the Catskill Mountains of New York. I'd like to show you some video that I took from my FPV goggles of various aircraft that I had been flying during the week. First up is my MIDI Watt, which I flew on Saturday after we finished quite a bit of work setting up for the tents that were to arrive Monday. Off to the right, you see the compound of my workers and myself that was set up before the tents arrived. Having a little fun with my MIDI watt, I usually like to fly down low and around a pair of Christmas trees that are nestled together on the far side of the field and down the pond a little bit. You can see how slow the MIDI watt flies. There was no wind that day. Here again, you can see that compound off to the left and you can see some yellow ribbon which marks out some reserved spots. What you can't see on the ground are some flags that we put down to signify where the tents will eventually go. Now we have up my Stryker F27Q from Park Zone some years ago with my camera and this is Tuesday morning about 8.30. You can see all the tents that were laid out. There's 30 tents accumulating to about 1,100 feet of tents throughout the valley. Just about show center right here and ahead of you is the campsite office and pool. Flying down the flight line I just passed show center up to a nice half loop and roll out. Again down the line you can see all the tents and right about here is show center with the red and white tent being my crew, the Seafly group, the silent electric flyers of Long Island, who are the hosts of the club and the meet. Always like to go down the pond and fly around that lone tree that's down at the south end and do a pylon turn around it. One of my favorite things to do when I'm old. got some time at the neat fair. And I set up for a nice casual landing close to show center. See the shadow off to the left as I put her down in the wet grass. On Thursday, we have a Battle of Britain memorial. And we allow anybody who on the field who has a small war bird that was representative of the time that the Battle of Britain was, which was early uh, the 19, late 1930s to uh, early 1940s. I'm flying my Gloucester Gladiator here, as I do many years, and I was chasing a Farquhar, I'm sorry, I was chasing a BF-110, which happened to be an old model of mine that was sold some years ago and ended up back at the show being sold again to a gentleman in Virginia who was flying it during the Battle of Britain Memorial. Looking around, I lost him, but spied a BF-109 off to my port side, and, sorry, starboard side, and the BF-109 was uh, below me, but I could not catch up with him. He was a little too fast. Running low on fuel, I decided that I should land, and most of the rest of the guys were down already. Here we have a night shot of my Optera flying wing from E-Flight. It has a low lux digital camera on board and I can see fairly well at this time of night, especially I can navigate by the, all the tent lights you see. Coming up on your left hand side, the bright long tent and the shorter bright tent is the Seafly tent and the headquarter tent respectively. And you can see some other brightly lit tents. This was on uh, Monday night of the show. On Wednesday we had some really good weather and I got a chance to fly chase with one of my guys Fred Backus 
who built, uh, who finished building his father's uh, Stinson Reliant. His father unfortunately passed before it was finished, so Freddie finished the model. The Stinson Reliant was the old uh, Great Plains kit. It's a 100 inch span and weighs 28 pounds and run on 12S. I'm chasing him with my Fairchild 24 from Black Horse Models I got at Motion RC, which I run on 10S and is only uh, 15 pounds. It was rather difficult to stay with him, not only because of the glare from the setting sun, but because of the difference in weight, uh, wing loadings, and speeds of the airplane. But I did manage to get a few good shots chasing him around in the skies above Peaceful Valley. Time to land. I did not realize that Freddy was down in front of me and you can see him just off to the right who just landed so I squirted a little bit to the left and put my airplane down safely away from him. Now this is a shot that I normally take on Sunday evening after the show is over. Uh, we get everything away, we have a nice dinner, and right around uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock as the sun is setting, I go up with my Optera. Unfortunately, this year, Sunday was lousy. We got everything away before it started to rain, but then it started to rain pretty uh, heavily at times. So this is a shot I made in 2021 on Sunday night of Peaceful Valley area from my Optera at about um, just a few hundred feet above the mountains that uh, are around us. You can see the tent line there. A lot of it is obviously uh, vacant now on Sunday and everybody is gone. Just a few lost souls wanted to, wanted to stay just a little bit longer, uh, usually hanging out on Sunday night. But the place was pretty much empty by that point. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the 2024 Neat Fair, which will be our 25th year.